In a game of multiple characters with their own strengths and weaknesses, there will always be one better than the other. So today, we will be going over the best characters and the worst ones. Let's begin. Starting off, we have Zurong. Zurong is pretty good. She has really good combo game, really good neutral, and is in general a pretty above average character. Not much to say about her because I think everyone kinda knows how she plays already, but I think we can all agree that she is A tier. Next up we have Zurong. Zurong got leaked by the official rush on Twitter and she is not good. She is really not that good. I would say she is maybe at best C tier? But I can also see her being D tier honestly. I think for now I would put her in C tier. Now we have the infamous Zurite. She's just, she's just us. She is just us. I think everyone knows why she's just us. Let's move on. <laughs> Next up we have Zoo Fights. Now this one is pretty interesting because someone likes Zoo a lot but doesn't want to play Sorties so Team Vortex made Zoo Fights just for him basically. It's just Zoo without a sword and she might honestly be the worst character in the game. She is just way 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 worse than Zerong and the other Zeus. I might honestly make a tier just for her, maybe even with a gap. She sucks. She is not that good. She is by far bottom one. Hopefully they won't make the exact same character but better, right? Right. Next up we have Zoo Might. Zoo Might is basically Zoo Fight, but better in every single way. That doesn't mean she is god tier though. She's pretty solid, your average non sorty fighting character, and probably is a solid B tier. After that we have Zoo Light. Zoo Light is a weird character and I have no idea where to put her. She is insanely hard to hit, but she is also the only character that can get zoomed in blue. She's insanely light and has probably the best combo game in the game. So in theory she's soft tier by far, however you need to quite literally play her perfectly. And that is pretty hard. She's also the only character that doesn't have a blooper, so it's even harder to not die with her. You rarely see her in tournament nowadays because of her difficulty and other characters that are just both easier and, and maybe even better. I think she's like maybe B? She's better than Zumaito. I think she's B, yeah. Next up we have Zulite. Now something funny that happened with this character is that it was insanely buggy at the start and would make the entire map dark. However, now they fixed it and now she's just pretty alright. Nothing really special or crazy about her other than being a bit worse than Zurong. Probably high B tier and barely above Zulite. Next up we have Zulite. I hate this character. The fact that she can just camp you out and wait 40 seconds just for you to explode it is insane. This character is a war crime and a half. I, I'm making a tier just for you. F you, absolute dumb character design editor. Next up we have Zulite. Now this one is pretty interesting. For the ones that don't know, this is a fusion of Zurong and Valora when they need to fight a bad guy in story mode. She's unfortunately not playable without mods, but if she was, she would be really good. Not sure if it's Zulite's level of good, but still very, very good. Next up we have Zoo Flight. This is just basically if Zurong and Raster had a baby. This character is not okay, get out of here. After that we have Zoo Sight. Now in the trailers this character looked very interesting, but then I noticed you can change the direction of every single move. Yeah, this character is not okay. This character can just spike you with up air or send you to the top with upward spiking there. Get out of here. Next up we have Zoo Right. This character looked insane and I thought she would be an easy top tier character, but it's surprisingly hard to get 10 feathers. Instead of having 4 feathers like most Zoos, she needs 10 to use her ability. Her ability is very strong though. It's basically a bonk you need to charge up a bit and the bonk will insect kill you. However, not a lot of people get hit by this because of how hard it is to hit. While well, it also needs 10 feathers. And other than that, it's basically the worst version of Zurong. Next up we have Zoo Height. 
Zuhide is basically a meme character. She is too big for rushdown. She just gets comboed all day. She does have good kill power though, and that's about it. Is she better than Zurong? Yeah, I think barely. I think she's barely better than Zurong. Next up we have Zuhide. This character is a character. This character does not die. She is morbiously a beast and is the heaviest character in the game. It's also impossible for her to get zoomed in orange and she is heavy enough to survive some kill confirms. However, she is slow. Like very slow. If that doesn't matter if you just low profile some stuff for free. This character is kinda dumb. But not ultra dumb, so she's like top of 8 here. And last but not least, we have Zukong. Zukong goes monkey. This character is mad hype. But is she good though? Uh, not really that good. At best she's like barely beats here. Just below Zumite. Props to the people playing her though. And then we also have Zuhead. This character is not released yet, so I'ma not rank her just yet. And that's the tier list. Hopefully I didn't trigger anyone by making this tier list. This is my personal opinion by the way. I can also see some characters in B tier being A, but they haven't shown enough results for me to put them there. Well, uh, see ya.